1,000 pound sisters are back in the news for a good thing. Yeah. Is it Tammy? Yeah, Tammy. Tammy, the sassy, sassy sister Tammy, his, she's kicking butt. Yeah, they're both sassy, but she was, she was a little more difficult one getting to go along with the program. So what is going on? Like she, she fi- is, is it finally clicked for Tammy? Yes. And I want to get into you know, what seems to be clicking for her, our viewers that are watching that maybe like this show and are kind of like intrigued or maybe they haven't seen it. Let's fill them in. And you know, how is Tammy finding success finally? All right. So Thousand Pound Sisters, it's a show from TLC. It happens to be in Western Kentucky, so not too far from where we are. Seems to be a big hit show, kind of like the 600 pound life. All right. <laughs> you know, like diet. Food is a comfort. It's like your friend. So when you're on a diet, it's like losing your best friend. You mean I'm not your best friend? Not anymore. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Tammy has lost 500 pounds. 500. Her highest was 725. She had bariatric surgery in 2022. I believe the show started in 2020. She had the surgery in 2022. Uh, she shared her 500-pound loss milestone on TikTok in August. So it was just this past August, 500 pounds down. Wow. Documented her journey on the TLC show and on social media. She entered a food addiction rehab center multiple times as part of her weight loss efforts. Now, I have seen every show, every season, every show, so I know what you're a fanatic. what's going on there, and they're, I guess they're getting ready for another season because they, she, she hasn't shared some of what she's done, but I've seen everything up to now. Um, and, and in the show, it, it's, uh, it's fascinating. They're, they're normal in one sense, but you know they have tons of dysfunction, and you get to see it all. They're fighting a lot, their love for one another, their anger at everything and each other, the divorce they go through, the fame, the jail, the money, it, the everything. So you get to see it all, and it kind of pulls you in, and it's uh, it's an in- interesting. And w- when people are doing my program, I want them to watch things like this. I tell yeah. them, watch 600 Pound Life, and they're like, wow, I can't stand watching that. And I'm like, well, you need to stand watching it. You need to lose 50 pounds. But when you see somebody that's 700 pounds, you're like, I can't identify with that. And and what I try to get people to do is say, well, you need to identify with that mm. because, quite frankly, I can't identify with being 50 pounds so, overweight. Uh, so so you've got to get to where it that, strikes something. That is a very interesting point. That is a very interesting point. Could, could it be that maybe like, uh, is this bad to say? This is trainers are unfiltered, but uh, someone in a third world country, an African village where they barely have enough to eat, they could watch someone who's... 50, 60 pounds overweight and have kind of the same reaction. Sure. Obesity has changed over the years. Have you seen Willy Wonka? There was the heavy uh-huh. kid on Willy Wonka that ate the microphone. Yes. Well, back when it first came out 40 years ago, he was way smaller than the newer one because he wasn't big enough to look big. And that that is what's happening in our culture. Yeah, yeah. And even within her family, she and her sister are both, you know, hundreds of pounds overweight. And so some of her family are literally morbidly obese and but with them, they look kind of normal, right? Which is where our culture has gone. Morbidly obese now is kind of like it's barely overweight. Yeah, that's fascinating. So what is? How did she? How how did it finally click for for this girl, this gal? So so as we've watched, it's it's painful because she cannot get around. You know, she walks with a walker. They 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 go to a swimming pool at one point. Because their doctor, what they're trying to do is get to the place where they can have bariatric surgery. And their doctor's like, well, you've got to get on the right track. That's that's how they do that. You can't be this big and and not change your mindset any and then have this surgery. It's okay. not going to work. Okay. So they're trying to start this new healthy routine. And they go to this swimming pool. They're going to go swimming. And they look and their steps down into the pool. That's Tammy says, I can't do that. They go home. She, I can't walk down those steps. You know, they're very limited on what they can do. So you watch her through phases. At one point, she nearly died. Her boyfriend in rehab did die. Mm. And yeah, very heartbreaking stuff. So she's in rehab the first time. Her family has an intervention, convinces her, Tammy, you're going to die. And the doctor's like, you're going to die. And you see her partying and basically, I don't care. I'm just, just let me live. Let me be me. Let me do my thing. And she's doing that, and her family's concerned because her sister was doing better, losing weight. What a fascinating show. 
that you're actually getting to see this lady week week to week. You're getting inter- you're in there. You're, you're getting in entertained family. by it, but it's kind of jaw dropping. Uh, but you're literally thinking this this yeah. lady <laughs> could die in in front of you're us. You're getting entertained by it, and you're like, surely she's going to be dead within a week. She weighs seven hundred and twenty five pounds. My goodness. And she's frustrated, and she's upset, and she tells her sister, who's four or five hundred pounds, she says, "You don't understand what it's like to be this big." It's like, no, I guess not. But she is 500 pounds. You're 725 pounds. And she's like, you don't understand. And she's saying that while she's partying, drinking, eating whatever she wants, got boyfriends. And uh, and she's like, you don't understand. And her family is taking care of her, letting her stay in her sister's. Her sister's letting her stay in her house. They're providing her foods. They're helping her around. They're taking her to her doctor's appointments. All while she's saying... I'm gonna do what I want to do. Let me live my life, you know. So it's yeah. Then there's that, you know. How so are you, you gonna do with that? Say, it sounds mean to say, but you see how someone like her could get as big as she got. There's just some mental screws loose. Is that fair? Or, I mean, too That's I interesting mean, because I try to challenge people in my program. I'm like, do you really want to be uh, dependent on family to take you around because of the way you didn't take care of yourself when you were younger? And I want them to think about that. And you see that show, and, and maybe you're thinking, well, I'll never get to that point. But I think mm-hmm. it does help people see, you know, I might get to that point if I don't do something. I don't know how unusual that is. Not right. everybody with that attitude is going to weigh 500 uh, I don't mean to, be, to belittle that mental screws loose, but, but mental blockages to allow yourself to get that huge and then to behave like that in uh, the midst of a family who's trying to to love you and help you and you're behaving like that and and rejecting all help it seems like how could there not be some mental blockages some significant mental blockages (laughs) and allow me to bring this back into everyday folks right because that's what i'm I'm looking at that and then like what about these everyday folks that are 30 50 80 100 200 pounds overweight they got a job they got a family they're doing normal things and they're 200 pounds overweight and, they, and then they still look at this person and think, well, wow, look at that. I'm like, wait a minute. When is it, a, when is it an issue for you? Yeah. If, if, if gaining 10 pounds after college didn't bother you, and then 20 pounds after you had a baby didn't bother you, and then 30 pounds after your second baby didn't bother you, and 40 pounds because you used to be on the football team and now you're not, now you just eat whatever, doesn't bother you, why does it bother you if well, somebody weighs 700 pounds and is relying on their family? Yeah. So part of it, Paul, I think is we look at anybody that's struggling with life and it's like, do we have a compass that kind of tells us, how should I live? And you see people and you see their struggles and you're like, they really don't know how to live. And so I kind of come back to if somebody, you know, for us as Christ followers, I feel like we have a roadmap that kind of gives us guidance through the Word of God and through friends that are following the Lord and others. And it's like, wait, we have a moral compass of how we're supposed to live. It doesn't mean it's easy. doesn't mean we do it just right. doesn't mean we fully get it. But at least we have, okay, this is not good. This is good. Somebody that's not a Christ follower, I, I, I find it probably is more difficult. They're going to have to find something that is a compass for them that gives them direction that gives them motivation that helps them see this is why I'm doing it and of course they do Mm -hmm. many times and it may just be hey I really care about my family I really want to be alive for my grandchildren whatever it is but I do think it's probably harder if you don't have faith okay so that's just a a side note but I think it is we have this foundation how is anybody going to live well if they yeah. don't have a, a good foundation. Yeah, very true. Let's get just a, a little practical with Tammy, and then you know our viewers that are wanting to lose weight can take some stuff from this as well. You said that probably in the upcoming season, it will be shown more clearly, more of a specific breakdown of how she has had such drastic weight loss, 500 yes. pounds. But They haven't had those shows ba- yet. Based off them. of what you have perceived as a, a weight loss coach, mm-hmm. because you're an f- avid fanatic of the show, how, what clicked with her and what steps is, has she been implementing to lose 500 pounds? Okay, so she went to this clinic many times. The first time she went to this weight loss rehab center to live, her family convinced her through intervention, she was doing great. Oh, really? And there was a plan to stay there for a period of time. I don't know if it was a year or, or, or I don't remember. But I remember she was doing great 
and her family would come visit her and she's like, you know, I think I'm ready to come home. And they're like, wait a minute. You're just getting started here. Why would you come home? We all believe you're about to die. You need to lose tons of weight. You're here for a fraction of the time we agreed on, and now you want to come home? And that's and that's when I say, that's what people do. They start on a diet. Mm-hmm. They need to lose 50 pounds. They lose 10, 20, 30. And they're like, yeah. I'm going to go home now. It's like, huh? What do you mean? This isn't your new life? It's like, no, I'm going to go home now. So I did that. And yeah, then yeah. Go so home. she was having some success, but then it was kind of wavering. So that obviously didn't end up being the, the no, ticket. She came home and she struggled again and had had issues. And then you, you, you see her continually failing and getting frustrated and her family getting frustrated. And it's, it's a little hard to watch. And then finally she starts to realize and she, her boyfriend dies. I think that was part of her... He, she mm-hmm. saw it. He was like me. They both had their breathing uh, things because they needed that. And he died. And, and I think she just began to see, you know, um, behind on, on the back of every excuse is a lack of desire. And, and I think she finally said, I've got to desire this. It's not going to just happen. And, and that's m- my analysis. And I think many would look at that and say, she just didn't care enough. And then finally she said, okay. In, in one of the clips, you see her say, uh, when you go on a diet, you're basically saying goodbye to your best friend because food is my best friend. It's like, who wants to do that? Mm-hmm. So you She say, got to the point where she was willing so it, to say are, goodbye to Are you suggesting that it was just entirely mental? Yeah. She had to get to where mental, emotional, wasn't physical. And, and, that, and I think that's always the case. It's not a physical battle. It's a mental, emotional. Am I going to allow within what's inside okay. of me to well, go through what it's going to have to go through? Let me let me give you a pop quiz then. So she has the light bulb awakening moment and says, "I'm going to flip and do this now. I'm going to lose significant weight. I've been 500 pounds." So I've she knew that's what it has to be. Teetering. I've had a lack of commitment, kind of wavering, wavering commitment. Now I'm going to lose it. You. Pop quiz, because we haven't actually seen her break down how she lost it. Mm-hmm. What would you say on the tail end of the mental, what was the practical thing? Yeah. She got rid of the bread. She got rid of the snacks. She got rid of the Cokes. She got rid of the booze. She got rid of all the snacking treats in her home. And she is now on a plan where she's eating probably 1,200 calories a day of mostly protein and some fruits and vegetables. That's it. And she's okay with that. And she had to be. She decided. She I'm decided I'm going to do the plan now. And it's and it's saying goodbye to your boyfriend. Your best friend, your lover. She's saying goodbye to her lover because what else did she have that she was loving? You know, she had her family and she had a nephew and it's like what's my life? And that's everybody's. Everybody has to be willing to say goodbye to their lover. And what's their lover? I would put it as their lover is this little cup of excess. <laughs> it's like, can I, is it okay to have excess? You can eat. It, so many people think, well, I don't want to deprive myself. And it's like, neither did she. So she she got, she had to get rid of that and be on a plan. And what's interesting, is, and a lot of people get upset when you looks like you're being too strict, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> Yeah, don't be just too like, strict. It's going to end badly. It's going to end badly. You're too strict. You're giving up things you shouldn't give up. And it's like, well, too okay. extreme. She, <laughs> and I always go back to, well, you need to lose 100 pounds. Wasn't it extreme what you did to get there? What is, wasn't it extreme to what she did to get there? We, we've got to let go of this thing that says extreme is bad when we've been living this horrible extreme life that got us where we are. We need to be willing to say letting go of that is going to look Extreme. Radical. Extreme. It's going to look radical. Weird. Yeah, if you lived radically and then you choose not to, you don't think you're going to do something that appears to be extreme. It probably will. Don't you think? Yeah, I do. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i fine with doing it especially, non-extreme, but is it going to get done? Especially in a culture where it's very tolerated being obese. It's going to look extreme in that culture and, and to those people. Yes. And I think it goes along with the quote we've shared here before, St. Saint, Saint Augustine said, uh, for many, total abstinence is easier than perfect moderation. And so many people say, well, I'm just going to eat a little dessert, and I'm just going to eat a little bread, I'm just going to eat a little is noodles. Is she practicing total abstinence? Uh, 
well, we're going to have to wait and see in the next episodes that come out. But it, it would appear that her doctors expect her. Why are you eating something that's not on plan? Nothing on... You should eat nothing that's not on your plan. Now, it, it could be that on your plan you say, I get one M&M a day or something, but, mm -hmm. but it's going to be one. It's not going to be a bag. It's going to be yeah, you've decided yeah. what it's going to look like. Trainer Joe, what would you guess, and this isn't any belittling or despairing, disparaging, we're so grateful for the audience we have here on YouTube, podcast, um, and we're here to help. Like We have empathy. We're here to help you guys kick butt and reach your goals. What would you say, if you had to guess, would be the average amount of weight that your average viewer desires to lose? 50 pounds. Okay. So, Which is crazy. You know? It's great. 50 pounds. Paul, that's 10. That's 10 of these. 10 of these 5-pound bobs. 10 of these is the average. People coming to me. Yeah. And some, it's 20. And I've had people lose 20 and 25 of these things. So it's it's way too much. It's way too, and, and that's just we're just being sincere, like heartfelt, saying it's way too much. And so, half of them are like, "I wish he was only 50. Okay, you know, it, I wish he was just fifty. That to say, if you're watching, you're watching right now. You likely, if you're the the average, the norm, are sitting somewhere in that fifty range. You're probably about fifty pounds overweight. If you're thinking I'm a little heavy, you're probably fifty pounds overweight. Wow. <laughs> there are some that they're real conscientious, yeah. but most that's what it is, and they think. Yeah, I need to lose. It's funny when I'm talking to somebody. I need to lose ten or fifteen pounds, and I'm like fifty. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's like, like trainer Joe unfiltered. Not always, I, but a lot of times it is. It's like, bro, I, fifty. Try need, fifty. Uh, yeah, try. Let's well, say fifty. So that to say, you're sitting, you're watching, fifty pounds to lose. If Tammy can lose five hundred pounds. Let that switch come on in your mind that maybe you've been. Hold on, you maybe been like, oh, I just don't. I want to lose it. I may. I think I can lose it, but I just don't know. It's my family genetics. It's all these things. My life's too busy right now. If she can lose 500 pounds, you can lose your 50 pounds. Can't you? You what can do you, lose What it. do you think she had to do to to do that? To lose what 500 pounds. What kind of was that for her? You can lose your 50 pounds. Yeah. Let that encourage you. Because you mentioned this earlier. Seeing other people's success stories. But give her credit. She did it. Give her credit. See? Credit to you, and I'm going to tell you, if if Tammy or Amy, you're seeing this show, we'd love to yeah. come and we'll come to you and do a little talk with you. Um, we'll make a bring, video, bring you a pie or something. I'm kidding. No, we'll bring you no. a, a shepherd's bring you shepherd's whatever you, pie, yeah, a shepherd's vegetable pie, vegetable pie. No, but we'd love to we'd love to interview you, talk to you, be be on the you know come and be on your show with you or something. Uh, <laughs> be a watch trainer yeah. Joe TLC special guest so special guest. Joe. I'd love to be your special guest. Or we'll have you on the podcast. Yeah, we'll have but you on the either podcast. Either way, no, the invitation's out there for you two sisters. We'd love to have you in our home. One thing that we saw over and over again with your program, Twenty One Day Transformation, and people coming through your groups is they would see these other people week each week finding success yeah. or that you'd have sticking with it sticking with it. you'd have someone come on that has been through a program before lost 50 pounds they're crushing it and by, by seeing that while you're in the midst of it it gives you that like okay yeah they can do it i can stink and do yeah, we need some encouragement some help and to see some people doing well but yeah that's that's awesome so let i get tammy i keep thinking tammy yeah let tammy be that for you yeah. And more. Times, and I know times she wants to. She 50. wants people to see that because she nearly died many times. Horrible existence, most yeah. would say. And here she is, 500 pounds down. Of course, she's wanting to get her skin removed now. Which Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? And we're rooting for her that yeah. it, it ends up going very successfully. Hope it continues to go well for her. Come, shout, shout out to the sisters. Sh shout out to the sisters. And thanks for putting your life out there for so many people to see. Like That's yeah. pretty bold. Yeah. That's pretty bold. Comment below, have you seen 1,000 Pound Sisters? And now that it seems to be moving in a pretty cool direction. Well, I didn't go into her sister just got in trouble. Oh, uh, well, we'd go to court for something. We can, okay, that's, a, that's a different. That's a <laughs> it, at least with Tammy, we're seeing some good things. She might be innocent, by the way, but but <laughs> it was in the news as I was researching for this. Um, uh, Have you seen the show? What is arrested. what is your reaction been to the show? Yeah, I'd be curious to to look at those comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All this video encouraged you, train a Joe, train your brain, and transform your body. <laughs>